A woman who grew up in Maine dreaming of someday going to space is going to see that dream come true by the end of this year. This is so exciting. Jessica Meir is a scientist turned astronaut originally from Caribou. And today, NASA tweeted out that she is headed for the International Space Station sometime in September. This is the culmination of years of hard work for Mir, which included learning complicated systems she'll be using on the International Space Station. She even learned how to speak Russian. A couple of years ago, during a visit to a school in Oxford, Mir actually sat down with our former colleague Caroline Cornish and talked about that astronaut training and what she thinks it'll be like to be in space. I started saying I wanted to be an astronaut when I was five. That's the story that my mom tells me. I don't really remember that one, but I do remember in first grade, our teacher asked us to draw a picture of what we wanted to be when we grew up, and I drew an astronaut standing on the moon next to the flag, you know, that kind of iconic image. Do you still have that picture that you made when you were a kid? I don't have it. I wish I did, but it was a really cool story. I went to Caribou last year, so my parents moved away when I graduated from high school, so I'm not up there very much anymore. But I went up there to speak to the schools last year, and it was so cool to be back there and see everybody, and that teacher, from first grade was there too and so I got to meet and speak with her I'm like oh, man wish we had that. Mir went on to get her PhD in science and worked as a biologist for much of her career trying to make decisions that would help her get to NASA as an astronaut knowing there are no guarantees. You know, I didn't realistically think that I would become an astronaut because it just I knew as I got older that there was such a small chance of it happening and so that's why I actually felt incredibly fortunate that I found this whole other field of work. I was studying animals in extreme environments, so deep diving animals like penguins and seals, high altitude birds like the ones that migrate over the Himalayas. And I actually found this field that I felt really content in. When I was a kid, a lot of people would say, you know, oh, you're so lucky, you know exactly what it is that you want to do. And I didn't really say it to them, but I thought, yeah, but what if it doesn't happen? You know, am I ever, am I never, will I ever be happy? And so. I felt really fulfilled that I'd found this whole other career. And that's kind of the irony of it in the end. Once you have found that other career and you're doing really well at it, that's when then this happens. Because usually you don't become an astronaut until you're really well established and then have demonstrated yourself in something else. So it's almost a little bit bittersweet sometimes to have to give up this thing that you found and that you love so much. But of course, I couldn't say no to my five-year-old dream job. When you dream about what it's going to be like to be in space, what do you think about? The image that I've always had is how it will feel and the perspective that looking down on the earth will give you. You know, that feeling from space when you're looking down at this fragile blue ball below you and everything you've ever experienced, all the people you've known, all the places you've been are down there together. And you're seeing that with your own eyes from up above, no man-made borders or boundaries and understanding the perspective that that would give you of our place in the solar system and in the universe. I think, I can't even imagine, you know, how that would change you as a person. And from what I've heard, it really, really does. And so I know that it will be well worth all the hard work and, and the wait in getting there. So excited for her. Astronaut Jessica Meir talking with us a couple of years ago. And if you think she isn't thinking about Maine, take a look at this photo. She posted just six days ago holding a Maine flag at the Spacewalk training pool at the Johnson Space Center in Houston.